was a second. Let's get you in a way that you can't get me. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think that one went to plan. Hello, Shotgun Score here, and welcome back to another episode of Countdown to Infinite. Uh, we're still on Halo 2, although we've only got a couple of levels left. Uh, we've got High Charity now, which is mission 14, and I think for most people, the least favourite level of this game. I don't know, it's very, very flood-centred, like centered, and it's just, it's yeah, I'm not looking forward to this one, let's put it that way. Um, uh, well, we might as well get started, I'll, I'll, I'll talk over the menus. Um, uh, last, uh, actually no, because there's going to be a cutscene, so let's let the cutscene play first, actually, because I need to reference that um, before I talk about the thing I was going to talk about. Um, it's so cool seeing the anniversary cuts, like the, the loading screens. It'd be so good to play this with those graphics because it really brings it to a whole new level. But playing it as as it was, here we go. Oh yes, so they all fly off. We just missed Tartarus and um, Miranda Keys, and I think the Sergeant Johnson as well, as they all piss off. Um, and we find the prophet that was just left being eaten Good by a. Where is he going? Uh. That structure in the center of the city, it's a forerunner ship. And Truth is heading straight for it if he leads the Covenant fleet to Earth. They won't stand a chance. You have to stop him. That the ship looks really bad. And Miranda and Johnson. He can activate the ring. If he does, I'll detonate in Amberclad's reactor just like we did. <laughs> the blast will destroy this city and the Amazing. Ring. Not a very original plan. <laughs> but we work. Literally just loop that up. No, I don't want to chance a remote detonation. We need to stay here. Oh shit. She's to stay on the high charity. Ah fuck. Here they come. Yeah, so last episode, um, an amber clad, there it is, the ship, crashes into this thing. It's full of floods, and that's what this is all going on. Also, here's the dead prophet, who for some reason is really dark and not lit properly. I wish I could get in this chair, that'd be so cool. Um, all right, thanks, Cortana. I'm trying to talk. Just chill out for a second. Yep. Yep. He did. He was. Okay. There's a conduit connecting this tower to the ship. Head back inside. I'll lead you to it. Oh, okay. What are you doing? That's a bit weird. Just stop flying off. Right. Oh, and more. Holy shit. Are these little flood ships just spreading their disease to the city. That's quite cool. All right. Things I've said that I couldn't talk about. First of all, Fauna ship. It looks garbage. I don't understand. It doesn't look like it houses people. It doesn't look like it does anything. It's really weird. It doesn't look cool. I don't understand it. That's. It looks like a really cool monument in the middle of the city. That's really cool. But it. it other than that, it doesn't look like a cool, like actual transport. But that's fine. That's that thing. Second thing. Last episode, I talked about how uh, the Emberclad uh, suddenly came out of nowhere, covered in flood. I actually googled this to see have I been an idiot and completely missed it because it's something that never occurred to me. And it only occurred to me while replaying it for this series. There is nothing, there is no mention of the Amberclad getting infected by Flood or anything like that. One minute it's there, the next minute it's gone. That's literally it. It's apparently seen hovering above the library um, in the, the one where we play the Elites, uh, where we play as the Arbiter, I can't remember the level now. Um, but apparently it's hovering above that and that's the last time we see it and then suddenly it's covered in Flood. That's just some really bad storytelling of just like, oh yeah, and now it's infected. Now obviously Cortana touched on it, what the hell's going on over there? Uh, touching it just now a little bit, uh, talking about how, um, oh, thank you very much for that shotgun, I would be taking that, um, about how it was like always Grave Mind's intended vector and that sort of stuff, but it still never actually talks about why all of a sudden it's there, it's so weird, it's just like there's no mention of it, it's just one minute it's human, the next minute it's now covered in flood and it's taken over the world, it's really weird. I feel like there's almost like a level miss. No, stay down. Stop it. I feel like there's almost a whole level that's just missing. Um, where they explain that. Can you just die? I'm trying to talk. Where, like, they talk about how that happens. But there isn't. So, that's a. Oh my god. Stay dead. Jesus Christ. But yeah, so it's a cool concept. Obviously, the idea that the flood end up. Um, you know, taking over. Oh, for good sake. 
Oh, you got a shield. Sweet. No, you don't. Um, that starts infecting the city of, of high charity. You know, the Covenant's capital. But it's just weird that it's never really touched on. Also, why is that there? I've never seen that before. Oh, yeah. And the other thing I was going to mention is this level when I was a kid, because I didn't like it, I used to uh, like just run the whole way through this level. I'm going to try not to do that, because I've been trying to play this properly. Um, but uh, I just thought, oh, okay, just randomly here. That'd be really convenient to get into and fly around, but fine, fine, no worries. Anyway, we've actually spent way longer at this beginning opening section than necessary, but I felt like I had to touch on a few things because this is this is my childhood. This is my my favourite game series, and I was just very confused by the Amber Cad's like appearance and realising that it's not ever been mentioned, and yeah, so now it has been. So as with before, this once again is in typical Halo fashion um, of reusing levels. Uh, can you? Oh, fuck! That's actually really painful. Can you? Uh, I need you to stop shooting at me, please. Can you? Thank you. And there you go. You're going to run at me. That's fine. I don't care about you. You run. That's it. That's it, buddy. Ow! Ow! Fine. Okay. So yeah. So oh. And then we got the Oh shit, let's get rid of the sword guy because that is definitely a no no. Oh, nice. Uh, also, the last collection of videos you would have seen on this didn't have these pop ups coming up next to me. I, this is probably a way to turn them off, but they don't really bother me that much. But they weren't there last time because uh, my internet was actually down, so thankfully it didn't matter because we were playing offline. But uh, these are now popping up because my internet is now working, just as an FYI. Now, if I remember correctly, this is really good at killing Flood. Um, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, so once again, this follows the same Halo guess criticism that the first one had, which is reusing same levels again and again. So we're once again now going back through High Charity, as we had done minutes before. Um, or like only a couple of levels ago, but instead of I'll disable this lift once you reach okay, the top, thanks. that'll slow them down. And I hope. Instead of fighting uh, Coven, we're now fighting Flood, but it's basically the, the same stuff. But it's kind of cool because you get to see the slow invasion of the Flood. As shall they, we let the Flood consume our holy city? Let him talk, shall we? Ah, I think they talk at some point about um, defeating the hunters. That might have been mentioned before. Hello, buddies. Now, I hate that it can't hit the ground with these things. Now, if I'm right, this is like super good. Oh my god. What is going on with me right now? Have I increased the difficulty without realizing? Can you... Yeah, I think the brute shot's actually really good against floods. That's quite good to know, actually. All right, let's hit this out. This is a bit of a new room. We didn't use this room before, so that's quite cool. Once again, I, I don't really know what this room does. Halo loves its big, giant, fucking open rooms of, like, buildings of nothingness. But I don't know what this room does. I think that's something that... I don't know if they improve later series, but we'll see. But uh, I think there's... Oh, yep. I mean, why does it fold up? What benefit does do we get for it folding up? I don't know. But yeah, I think that's something that these old Halo games typically have, is just rooms that really aren't explained and just sort of exist and that are cool arenas to battle in, which is it's fine. I mean, as I'm being overly critical, because we're going back through... Oh, hello. We're going back through this, you know, looking at this, you know, without our childhood glaze of just enjoying the game. And actually thinking about it more critically and um, I still think it holds up I mean the, the fundamentals of what made this game so good is its combat and the AI are you know fun to play around with Although the flood were a little bit more just straight up direct oh this is why I hated this this is why I just ran through these levels let me give that sword I'm not having this get out of here yeah I'm gonna speed run this I'm not gonna speed run it but I'm not gonna like fight every single flood it's not meant to be like that. You're meant to try and like get through this quickly and not have to worry. Look at this. It's horrible. No one wants to see this. Go on, fl flood. That's a shotgun. That's a no go. You can't have that. Thank. Oh shit. God damn. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think you need. Oh really? Fuck sake. I don't think we really need to see me fight the flood a bunch of times. But yeah, long story short, you start seeing it slowly, but surely. Um get transformed into the disease ridden uh, place. Hello. Can you? Thank you. 
Right. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna swap this to the sword, aren't we? In the next room. Hey, flood guy. I'm just gonna get the sword a second, and then I'm gonna kill you. What the fuck? Thank you. He had a sniper rifle. Completely worthless. Oh, it's horrible. Right, let's try and get that. Oh, hello. They just ran right past me. That's fine. Oh, hello. Carrier forms. Let's get rid of you. Okay, and then it took you out. That works for me. Oh, oh shit. That actually generally scared me then. I can't even see him. I can't see anything. I have no idea what this is going to look like in the bloody YouTube compression. There is a, a monster, or a brute, in front of me. Okay, he's dead now. Oh, I've got... Oh, hello. Can you back off this? Thanks. I guess it's a good explanation for why there's human weapons on this ship. That's quite a good explanation, you know, the coven being humans. I just wish there was... Um, they'd fleshed out, like, why that ship got taken over by the flood, you know. You know, at least see it to some degree. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember just Paris literally I running past the the huge us. swathes of this section. And, and you know what? Us. I'm still going to do that because that's what I used to do. And Arrogant ooh, creature. there we go. Let's get a mind. Your deaths will be instantaneous, while we shall suffer the progress of infinitude. Infinitude. So as you can see, like you know, it's really starting to spread everywhere. Right, lots of flood blobs. Hello. Whosoever is gripped by fear, take heed. I am the prophet of the earth, and I am not afraid. <laughs> you are bloody afraid. Oh shit, that's a rock launcher. Let's get out of it. Holy crap. So, no, 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 no. We exist together now. Two corpses. One grave. Right, it also doesn't make sense from like a canonical standpoint to actually stay and fight. Oh, very nice. But yeah, it doesn't make any sense for us to fight the flood because they're clearly going to take over this city. We just need to get out of here. So a bit like uh, the library where we ran past them. It, it doesn't it doesn't matter so much, does it? Because we don't need to be here. Ooh, it's all fancy. And even here, it's got flood. Jesus Christ! Oh, and the Super brutes. Let's try and get rid of these. Oh shit, I didn't realise the sword insta killed brutes. Holy crap. That's good to know. Hey buddy. Oh um, can you Ow. Can you not, please? Thank you. This door won't open. Do I need to press a button or do I need to kill you guys? Is that what it is? I honestly can't remember. It's been such a long time since I've played this level. Why are you coming for me? I'm actually in an armor. You don't want me, surely. Do I have to kill everything here? I actually cannot rem Well, that was uh, less than ideal. I generally can't even remember this section. I think having two close range weapons is probably not the most sensible thing to have. Yeah, I didn't know the sword actually insta-killed brutes. It's a good thing to know. Oh, hello. Let's miss that. Oh, it doesn't when they're in brute. It doesn't when they're in Omega suicidal. Brute. I can't actually get out. Shit. I need a long range weapon, please. Um, look at them jumping, the creepy little bastards. Right. Let's try and take out some of these. Oh, hello. You're gone. Come on, stop hiding. I can't, literally can't see you. I'm so sorry. This is so dark. Um, I, I, am, I am very sorry if this is not coming to on YouTube at all. What the? F Get out of here. How did you survive all of that and you decide you're going to fight me? Idiot. Right, is this open yet? Hello? Oh, there you go. Cool. Fantastic. Thank you. Just needed a bit of a punch, didn't it? Clearly. Oh, yeah. I remember this bit vaguely. Um, I'm running out of options, this way? Chief. I can't stall the launch sequence much longer. The next lift will take you up to the conduit. Hurry. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. So actually, there's not too much looped here, really, if we're being honest. There's a little bit of, uh, like, the same sort of stuff, but the actual areas you go into are very different. 
and obviously completely floodified as well, which is different. Actually, I don't remember. Was um, Truth and Reconciliation when you returned to that one in Halo 1? Was that all floodified? I don't actually remember. I know obviously there was lots of flood in it, but I don't remember if it was actually... Like, if there was actually, like, blobs of, like, almost like the carrier forms just spurting out from all the walls. Uh, I remember this bit. Oh, this is so cool. I knew the Covenant was good at repurposing Forerunner technology, but this is amazing. They've been using the Forerunner ship engines as an energy source for the city. Yeah. The city it's really interesting so to read in books. Why are you going for me? Stopping truth. That's all that matters. Now here's a question I can't now remember. The time of our oh, go on then. Off you talk. Moment we shall all become. Yeah, <laughs> you can't get me, idiot. You know the plan. You've got to stop truth. I've got to handle the index. Go. Yeah, so she's actually going to stay on the ship while I go off and do something. Um, I'm, sorry, I'm just getting a few things. This, this level has been quite short because I speed run it, so I feel a bit guilty. So I'm at least going to fight this off. Although, see, that's another thing. Um, if you I would think... falter, know this: one final level all that remains. When we played one of the other levels. Um... About the flood. You've got to get aboard. Okay, all right. That's what she said. She told me to forget about the flood, so I'm I going to. Go with you. All right, bye, Cortana. I'm sorry, Cortana. There we go, look, just getting out the old energy beam and we start shooting straight into the into the ship. We only just made it. Like it doesn't even look like a ship. It's I d I don't agree with modelling on this particular four on a ship. Get to Earth. Good luck. Run through the truth. Don't make a girl a promise. If you know you can't keep it. Aww. It just looks it doesn't it looks stupid. I don't think it makes any sense that ship. I agree that people disagree. I, I know that people disagree with me, but I just think it looks silly. But yeah, there you go. But yeah, that is the Master Chief. That's the last we hear of the Master Chief in Halo 2. Um and now we've got the last level, which is the Great Journey, which is the last level of the campaign. But no, that that level's kind of it's okay, it's fine. Um it doesn't really deliver much that level, other than obviously what happens to the Master Chief now. Um yeah, I, I don't know what else to say to that really. Um, it's 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 you know it's a flood level. You fight some flood. You you get some of it. It doesn't really add anything interesting. It doesn't add interesting weapons. It adds a little bit to the story, but not much. Just sort of a you know this is where the master chief is going. I feel like probably could have been summed up in a cutscene more than anything. I don't know. Anyway, that's that's it. I I've never really been a huge fan of that level. It's very short, and uh, I guess you see some cool high charity rooms before the whole thing gets floodified so i guess that's kind of it and kind of a nice story i suppose i don't know why i'm being so critical of that level it was perfectly fine but um <laughs> just came into this one with a really negative view for some reason i'm not sure why but anyway that's that one and our last level is going to be the great journey which we'll do next episode so thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time shotgun scroll out